everyone, this is Zero Prime, and welcome to another edition of Zero Review, a series in which I look back on the games that I've played and just give you a bit of a thoughts and opinions on that experience. And as usual, this is a spoiler, I decided to make this spoiler free on some of the game titles, but if there are some games that's not really much of it, then I could talk a little bit more about the spoilers of that. But as usual, what, nah. And as usual, like I said before in the first episode, this is completely unscripted and all ad lib. Just turn on the mic and here I go. So in today's episode, I'll be talking about my experience on one of the classic games for the Super Nintendo, Act Razor. Now I had a bit of fond memories as this is one of the memories of this console as before the PlayStation 1, well before the PlayStation 2, then PlayStation 1, I have fond memories of playing on the Super Nintendo as a kid. And this is definitely one of the games I have definitely have fond memories of playing. Act Racer is basically a game where you play as essentially God and you have to fight off Satan. Although in the US version they call him Tarzan and don't really mention that much on the religious aspect of it. In fact in the game you're called Master. And basically you fight Satan and his minions on Earth and at a side-scrolling battle. But also on the other half of the game is the simulation builder, in which basically after you clear the first stage area, you help build up the city, build up the towns, get rid of the monsters, and help the civilizations grow. And once you get to that certain point, then you fight the final boss of that area, and then you basically move on to each different location. And each different location has like a geographical location, like you have Egypt, you have... Um... The tropical, like the tropical islands, I'm not sh To be honest, I'm not sure exactly on the exact geological locations. I mean, you basically have the deserts like in Egypt, the islands, the tropical islands, like uh, some tropical islands like the Philippines or even some other remote areas. Then you have the frozen north areas, and then you have marshlands areas. You have like different areas to go through and different monsters to fight. And then basically once you clear all the areas and help build a civilization, you then fight uh, Satan in his final stage, which is basically just like a boss, a boss rush on a Sim Nintendo. Where you fight off all the second bosses of each area, and then essentially you fight Satan in the final battle. Now what's interesting about the, mechan about the mechanics in this game is that basically as you help develop, develop and grow your civilization, once you reach a certain population number, you level up and then you either get more HP or more spell points. And also as you help develop, the people find objects and they make it offerings to you. And these items you can use in different areas to help promote the growth as well. Or, or spells or abilities that you can get that you can use when you go to the side scrolling part of the game. Now I remember as a kid I always had trouble trying to beat the final, air, the final boss because once you start the final boss rush, basically, there's no checkpoint, there's no save point, so if you die, you basically start over on that, basically. And it's always very difficult, very difficult at first, but it's kind of satisfying that after many years of trying, that, you know, you actually manage to beat something. That's kind of like one of those, eh, what you call it at the top of my head, fulfillments, basically, after so long, basically. And it's very satisfying. I would definitely say that Act Racer is one of my cherished childhood memory games that basically if you ever manage to find a copy of it for the Super Nintendo or it should be available on the Nintendo store, I would definitely give it a shot. And who knows, maybe one day we might see a remake of that or, well I wouldn't say a sequel, well there was a sequel for that but I'll get more to that whenever I get a, get a chance to play that and put it on my channel. Well folks, that's all the time I have for this episode, so as usual, thank you for watching, make sure to leave a comment below, subscribe for more video update, share us on your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and all other social medias, and as usual, don't forget to hit the like button to help out the channel, and to turn on the notification bells to help to stay up to date, and as usual, I have a Patreon account if you want to help support the channel, it's down in the description box below, and as usual, thank you everyone for watching, and have a pleasant day.